Hey everyone, one of the UK's most popular high street stores is Marks & Spencer's and if you're a shareholder then you're probably hoping to benefit from the free advertising now being offered by the royal couple to be, Markles & Spencer, also known as Harry and Meghan. I imagine it with those initials the marketing team at high street rival H&M will also be rubbing their hands with glee. The wedding's set for next spring and hopefully won't coincide with the Grand National again like when Prince Charles got married a couple years ago. So many questions though. Who will design the dress? Will Meghan be able to bypass immigration bureaucracy in order to get a British passport? Will James Hewitt use the wedding as a path to obtain himself an American passport? It's also unclear whether the UK will get a national holiday or a time off work for it because let's cut to the chase here. A lot of us are just primarily concerned about whether we too will be allowed to act like royalty, spend a weekday doing not very much work and knocking back gin at 10 in the morning. Bear in mind actually though that next year St Patrick's Day falls on a Saturday so it would be nice if the royal couple could be decent, save the taxpayer a few quid and coordinate some kind of booze fueled madness sponsored by the good people at Guinness. The whole thing does also open up the curiously vague possibility though that a future child would be able to make a run for the US presidency and then later potentially inherit the British throne too. Open your eyes people, the House of Windsor are in the process of running the longest con in history and the Yanks are falling for it hook, line and sinker. If they are planning on something along those lines, mind, they could do worse than asking Michael Flynn about how to go about it. News just in this week was that he admitted to lying to the FBI about meeting with the Russians. It's not really news, of course. We've known about most of this since back in February, and time will tell whether he actually implicates anyone else in doing anything. I suspect if there was anything going on other than just stupidity, then a smoking gun would have to come to light. I would like Trump haters to once and for all clarify where precisely they stand in things though. Do they think that the president is A, a moronic imbecile and capable of running a bath, or B, a Machiavellian genius scheming with the upper echelons of the KGB? As I said, time will tell I suppose. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.